It's no secret, St. Louis loves soccer. The arrival of St. Louis City SC resulted in positive effects throughout the entire community, one of which is the City Futures program, led by the club's Director of Regional Training and Education, Sasha Bauer. Well, it's an environment where they're coming to have fun. They're not, they don't have to come like in, to school or they're not told by their parents that they should do that or that. They come in here to have fun and it's just a beautiful environment to learn something, pick up some skills that they can use in other areas of, the li of their lives. City Futures is the official youth soccer program for St. Louis City SC. It's a multi-level program with an overall focus on developing young players into well-rounded adults while making soccer accessible to everyone throughout the region. We want them to dream big, we want them to yeah, learn with the game, become as good as players as possible, and learn some life lessons that can be taken on into their private life, their school, their work career later on, and just have fun with the game. Using a play-practice play model, kids are able to learn and have fun at the same time, playing a sport that already encourages this type of philosophy. The sportsmanship, the teamwork, I think uh, soccer, the great thing about that is um, how global it is and how much it attracts uh, different kinds of people and different races and ethnicities and that just adds to the globality of the sport and it opens up that door to meeting other cultures within the space of sport. Youth soccer in America has been under fire for some time now. Across the country, Participation in youth and club soccer has fluctuated over the years. This can be attributed to several reasons, but financial obligations are at the forefront. In a 2022 survey conducted by the Aspen Institute, it was found that the average annual cost for youth soccer programs in America is roughly $1,200. And in St. Louis, costs for youth soccer can be as much as $2,200, not including registration fees for players and coaches. It's important to note that some of these numbers can't be calculated with complete accuracy, but it gives you an idea of what some families may have to pay. City Futures, however, is one of several free programs in the area, allowing anyone with a passion for soccer to participate. It all starts with the 101 sessions. This is where young players find their footing and begin introductory exercises into the game. Well, we focus on, um, it's just look at concentration, how do you handle adversity, things th that happen within the game. A fun and educational setting for kids ages 5 to 12, these 101 sessions are free clinics that establish basic understandings of soccer and the City Futures philosophy. Um, I wanted to have fun and get my, want to improve my skills. We're all about the community, right, and that's been driven in us since the beginning from the ownership, and that's what City Futures is. It's one, two, three. Our team! Our team! Yeah! Good job, guys! Way to Play sessions are a massive piece to City Futures, offering five locations throughout the St. Louis region for kids ages 7 through 12. At Way to Play, Children of all skill levels are given the opportunity to build on what was developed in earlier sessions. You can tell they were what they were feeling by their faces, yes. Megan Arnett is one of the community coaches at the University City location. So you understood their feelings in those times when they were mad, or sad, or upset, or hurt. A teacher in Normandy, Megan says she has seen some overlap between her teaching and coaching. Regardless of where they're coming from, they are a kid and they're here to play soccer and have fun. Using the play practice play model as her guide. We pick drills that work on the tactical needs and then we align them to also meet the social emotional needs. And participating families agree with her strategy. You get to play with other players from around this community and you get to like test yourself against other people. It's really, it's reignited his passion for soccer. So he's been playing since he was about five. He just turned 12, like I said, and uh, you know, he's got this whole new fire and he's excited to be here. 
The young players are taught social and emotional skills along with technical and tactical principles of soccer. It was about the emotional, the social, you know, some of these other pieces that they're teaching them. It's not just the ball in the field. And that's absolutely the experience we've had here so far, is that they're really worried about the whole player together. There's a lot that can be learned within the game. Uh, it's about, yeah, the technical side of the game is always important, sure. But uh, the social and emotional learning we take very serious. Some players are given the opportunity to test out their skills at a slightly more competitive level with City Future Select. It's a talent promotion a program. We want to here provide every kid an opportunity to take it more serious. A slight step up from way to play and a potential pathway to the City SC Youth Academy team. There's lots of different uh, possibilities to get into the program when you have one or two really outstanding skills. The players and coaches here are hand selected from way to play based on their performance throughout the session. All the coaches that coach the highest level of teams in the way to play program, they are invited to become select coaches, so they know most of the players. One of the city select coaches, Chris Brown, says he has high hopes for the young athletes participating. So we're really trying to teach them things like respect, how to communicate appropriately, um, what they need to do when they're feeling all different types of emotions, how to navigate those on a day-to-day -day basis. And despite the more competitive environment, the main focus still does not shift. We want to bridge the gaps here and make sure that the kids that don't get club soccer exposure at an early age, that they get a, at least a, a training here on a very high level with other kids. And that's understood by all those involved. There's a lot more drills and it's a lot more serious compared but they're still the same concept, usually. Do you think that you're learning more than just soccer here? Uh, yeah, confidence and like mental strength. It's one of a kind, I think, because other programs might not like have like a ton of coaches or a ton of kids that are like different skill levels, different ages. Even the coaches take these lessons home with them. So sometimes the coaches go to special coaching where Sasha comes out and he trains us as coaches, especially the leadership part and the cognitivity, yeah. You know, even being at 30 years old, some of those social emotional teachings that I'm giving the kids are things that I take into my own life and it really has helped me become a better person as well. The sessions wrap up with City Cup, a fun tournament that brings kids from different regions of St. Louis together. It's all tying together, huh? everything is somehow connected. If people really took the time to like really enjoy, really know about it and, and come to a match or watch your, really intensely watch your kids play, you'll really gain more and more of an appreciation for the sport and what it means. This program is another incredible aspect of a club that's helping take American soccer culture to new heights. We want to support the kids uh, in their personality and character development as much as we want them to grow becoming uh, technically good players. Whether you're a newbie or have some experience under your belt, City Futures is the place for all who love the beautiful game. Anybody that wants to come join us, we want them to play with us. And a template for other youth programs to follow.